Hello, yes, it's me, Shrewboy313, and welcome back to Eastward. Uh, in the last episode, we made it here to Esther City. I can't get that treasure and it's annoying me. And we got a job as a delivery boy for a pirate? Already finished, are ye? Quite the speedy little devils, I see. A natural talent for delivery. Now then, I've got one last thing for you to deliver. This one needs to go to Ivan at the Esther Hotel. Okay, we're getting taken away wherever this is. Is it just going to be like reliving the what is it over and over again? The funeral, that was the word I was after. Were you a good man, a bad man, it matters not, for today you lie in the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. Yeah, farewell Professor Solomon. Are we... Are we... Is like Esther City stuck in a time loop as well? Is it going to be very much that? How did we get back here? Okay, work. <laughs> oh, hey Floyd. Not even a flower for the old man. How depressing. Is this what those emotions humans are always talking about feel like? I mean, I guess. Also, is this what I did? I don't know whether this is what I meant when I said we'd come back to the island of, like, the island of time or whatever it was called at some point. This isn't what I was expecting. John, my boy. Get your asses on over here, you two. We about to set sail. Well, what about dear Floyd? Bloke said he wanted a bit more time on the island. The poor bastard. Losing Professor Solomon really did a number on his heart. Chaps, don't you be paying that old tin can any heed. It's time to weigh anchor. Especially you, John, my boy. Plenty of work awaits you back on solid ground. Uh, excuse me, but... Taint time to be asking questions, my dear. Don't you remember the pirate code? Treasure unsurpassed, no questions asked. Come on, lads, it's time to hit the waves. Make sure you close the door good and tight, you old pothead, else the wind will blow her right off. Ha ha ha. Fog's awful heavy out there today. Be careful, Captain. Come with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? And then are we just going to get asked to deliver the same mail again, by any chance? Sipak, me old friend. I brought some workers for you, I have. This little one, Sam, and the one with the grand moustaches. John! That he be, you wee jackanape, my boy John. Couple of rough and ready, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed workers if I've ever seen some. You two listen to Sipak now, you hear? He be the expert around here. But we need to find Isabel. Right then, Sipak, my boy. You go easy on these greenhorns now. Don't want to scare them away. Hmm. <laughs> Don't go thinking that just because you know the captain that I'm not going to grill you hard. The work ain't going to do itself. Yep, pieces of mail that needs to be delivered. Lena at the hotel. Argu the engineer. And then, guy at Red Rocket Repair. Girl, do we have to do this again? <laughs> I mean, at the very least, like, yeah, we've already discovered it. We've got all of the items that we had before, so I mean... I mean, I don't suppose I need to... T I mean, I assume they're just gonna say the same things. Yeah, my presentation about the new fruit, the sand root. Right, I'll just, like, zoop through this. It's fine. I assume something is gonna happen. Maybe, like, 
Daniel or William will have something to say, I reckon. Or I'm gonna guess at least. I couldn't tell you, but again, again I'm gonna guess. Hey y'all. <laughs> Hello, yeah, we're gonna she's gonna say, ooh, is it the album? But yeah. Arrived faster than expected. Oh, actually that's different. Don't get your hopes up too much. What's that? Don't tell me you already looked inside, did you? Oh, it's just a New Year's card from my mum. I always get a little homesick this time of year. Well, I mean, to be fair, at least what she's saying is different. Like, I'll give her that. Uh, can we go in this room yet? Boo. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll speak with this them again, see if they've got anything different. But I imagine it's just going to be the same. Esther City's the safest, and then Homeboy will have, what, seen the warrior or the fairy, whatever it, <laughs> whatever he was on about. Right, they didn't have anything different to say, so, I mean, I guess just speedrun. <laughs> speedrun the mail. Are we going to have to, like, go through it a few times like we did, what is it? Yeah, speedrun it a few times like we... Do you know what? I don't know. Hmm. You the captains, guys? Boss, the chip's here. Tell him to come inside. Boss says come in, we can do the operation. Come, Daniel. C coming. But I need to tell you something, it's about this chip. The chip? Yeah, it's, um, how did you put it? Something about the feedback circuits being over-exaggerated? Feedback circuits? <laughs> you interested in robots, kid? Wait until we're done with this operation, okay? Then we can talk. Hurry up inside, would you boys? Boss gets testy when he has to wait. Hey, what are you staring- uh, well, same outcome, lol. <laughs> I'm not a snowman. Well, that's weird as all. Get out. You knew exactly what I was gonna say. Well, Sam's always been pretty mysterious. Time to get back to the Iron Carbine. Hey, William, chop chop. I'm gonna leave you in the dust if you don't hurry up. Yeah, it's giving very much time loop until we figure out we're in a time loop. Bye, lol. You know, it's weird. It's just like you said before, kid. There was something wrong with this feedback circuit on the chip. Then it really is just like, yeah, oh, we're groundhog daying this bitch, are we? We brought you a chip yesterday too, I guess. But I guess you don't remember. Huh. Uh, is there anything we can do for Daniel to turn him back to normal? There is, but we need a special chip. An emotion chip. Emotion chip? You wouldn't happen to know where we could get one, do you? If I remember correctly, the very last one is installed in a robot named Floyd, but he left to attend Solomon's funeral. Oh, he must be the robot on the Island of Time! Don't tell me you're heading to the Island of, a ti of Time at a time like this. We certainly are, we need that emotion chip. That's the only way we uh, Daniel's operation will be successful. The problem is the ship. It only goes there once per day. So you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Well, I mean, baby, we're gonna get time looped anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, we can deliver this to, like, the jazz club. Oh, no, not- I've just realised it's called Pleasure Bay. Rank. Yeah, like, we can do this, head back to, what is it? I don't even remember his name. Him back at the port. Yeah, we have delivery for you. Though, I think maybe you won't be too happy about it. Your article isn't there. What? Oh, those damn editors, I should have known. Yep. <laughs> and then we can just, like, speedrun it back to the docks. Although, I mean, I suppose this is, like, a waterfront place, I guess. Because, I mean, Pleasure Bay is out on the water as well. Yeah, and then we just walk back to the other place. I mean, I suppose forcing to, like, go back and forth like this, it at least gives you the lay of the land. 
Like, I'll admit that. Already finished, are ye? Quite the speedy little devils, I see. A natural talent for delivery. Now I've got one last thing for you to deliver. This one needs to go to Ivan at the Esther Hotel. Yep. <laughs> and then we what, have to steal Floyd's emotion chip? From, <laughs> from the funeral? Yep, there we go, besties, we back. Were you a good man, a bad man, it matters not, for today you lie in the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. Farewell, Professor Solomon. May you become one with the past. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> huh, here again. Weren't we just at the dock, though? Wait, that bell! Did you hear that bell just now, John? It's just like before back at the station. What in the world could be going on? Look, it's Floyd over there. He should have the emotion chip. Hey, Floyd, I need your emotions, please. How depressing. Is this what these emotions humans are always talking about feel like? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Floyd. Floyd, what a nice name. But the man who gave me that name will never say it again. I'm sorry. What is it you folks need? That emotion chip. Oh, not that guy again. I thought he was a good guy, I did. When his assistant asked me to help it deliver the flowers, but I... I was wrong. Just take it, will you? This thing ain't giving me nothing but trouble. Oh, I'd rather just feel nothing from now on. With Solomon gone, I gotta find a new job. You guys don't know anything, do you? Your... your face. My face? How strange. And here I shouldn't be able to feel anything anymore. But somehow the tears won't stop. There must be something wrong with me. Meanwhile, Sam is just hopping around. Because <laughs> she got an emotion chip. Oh, we don't have to. We don't have to like read through this a third time, do we? Oh, good lord, baby, I ain't gonna just like sit and what is it? Sit and read. The poor bastard losing Solomon did a number on his heart. Look, it's fine. We've got the emotion chip. I assume we're just gonna still need to like, what is it? Deliver the mail a third time. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but yeah, okay. Pirate code, treasure unsurpassed, blah blah blah, no questions asked. It's fine, I've heard it twice before. I mean, let's just head back to dry land, lol. Come with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? Sipak, me old friend, brought some workers for you, I have. And it's John for the, th <laughs> for the third time. Yeah, look, I've read through this. There isn't, we're not getting given anything new, and I don't imagine we'll get anything... Yeah, we need to find Isabel. I don't imagine we'll get anything new until we, like, start delivering the mail. So, I mean, we're good for now, I think. I mean, I can just blah 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 <laughs> Just, like, essentially speed run. It's fine. Hotel, the engineer, jazz club... And the rocket repair, that's fine. Um, I mean, I assume we probably need to, like, just deliver them anyway. Uh, about this one for Guy. Yeah, yeah, I know, the guy's hell to deal with. But it's our duty to deliver every single piece of mail letter to hand. So do what you gotta. No, it's just the chip that he ordered. There's something wrong with it. We have the actual chip he needs. 
Huh? So someone actually gives a damn about that old bear? If that's the case, then give him the right one, I suppose. I just don't want to hear any complaints, you got it? Slay. I mean, do we still have to, like... Yeah, we still have to deliver all three, that's fine. Right, again, we, <laughs> we can just, like, speed run it. It's fine. <laughs> right, Lena at the hotel. Hey, girly. With your bowl cut. Yeah, we're all out of rooms. Here's your card from your mother. And it here. Don't get your hopes up. What's that? Yeah, you already looked inside. Oh, it's just a New Year's card. I always get homesick. I mean, Lena and the one at the jazz club there are apparently not the ones that matter. <laughs> hey, y'all. We got the emotion chip. Wait, what? Emotion chip? Seriously? Yeah, Floyd gave it to us. Then you went to the island of time. Dang, you guys are really going all out. Those two must be pretty good friends of yours. Alright, come on then. Let's get this operation started. You guys too. Seems like you've got a pretty vested interest in this. Boss. I thought I told you. Not to let anyone in here. But they have the emotion chip. Emotion chip? Here. This is definitely it. I have absolutely no idea how you could have gotten this. But I suppose now's not the time for questions, is it? Smith, let's do it to it. Yes, sir. Energy core levels rising. Don't you worry, we got everything under control. We've got interferences on all frequencies. You think I'm blind or what? Daniel, you okay in there? I'm... I'm f fine. Somehow it almost feels familiar, I guess. W William, are you there? I'm right here. William went, can we... Can we go back to Pockrock Isle when this is over? Wait a minute. You are that William. You sure certainly know how to choose the best time for things. Quiet. Almost got you, little fella. Don't even think about going anywhere. Car energy levels continue to rise. Slay. I can't get it under control. These energy levels. It's impossible. The container's not gonna take much more. Stop the operation. Cut the circuits now! Daniel, are you alright? What's happening? What's going on? Hurry! The system's overloading. Daniel! Daniel, are you okay? I don't feel any d different than the operation. A simple miscalculation is all. Sorry folks, I just never would have expected this little guy would have so much energy inside him. Then there's no way to f fix me? Hey, don't go underestimating me that quick. We're just gonna need to find us a more suitable container is all. Then you'll be ordinary kid in no time. Or an ordinary kid even, if you want to go wild. <laughs> really? Well, this has been quite the thrilling day. 
Why don't we head back to the iron carbine to rest for now? And thank you, both of you. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have even gotten this far. Come, Daniel, let's go. Uh, okay. And do let us know if there's any new development. We'll be in the train graveyard. Let's go deliver the rest of the letters, huh, John? <laughs> Love that, we still have to... <laughs> We still have to deliver mail. Right, either way, I mean, it's only the one we've got to do, so it's not... It's not anything bad, at least. <laughs> Literally just up in the jazz club with a guy who's, you know, gonna get mad at his editor, I guess. Well, not his editor, at an editor, the editor. Just, just the one editor, you know? Sometimes that's all you gotta do, just get mad at an editor. We have a delivery for you. Though I think maybe you won't be too happy about it. Your article isn't there. What? That was damn editors, I should have known. Right, and... Okay, Slay, um, are we... I mean, we did do something different this time around, like we got the emotion chip for Daniel, or we tried. So like, are we just gonna have to like, run? What is it on the same thingy magic? <laughs> on the same loop? Because I mean, we did. Like, we did progress. Or progress. We did progress. We did progress. Sorry, I was just thinking about the word progress. Like, I feel like the inflection you put on it, it makes it sound. Well, obviously, it makes it sound different. But it makes it sound like we have different meanings. We. It has different meanings. No, I think no. I'm, I think I'm just thinking too much. Ignore me, <laughs> Betty Hooties. Ignore me. It's fine. Oh well. So, how do you we friends operate? Yeah, see, this is different. It, uh, I mean, it worked, but also didn't. Seems nothing's actually different. Ah, uh, suppose operations be like that sometimes. As long as it didn't fail, then you can call it a success. Ah, right, just got a new letter for you to deliver. Needs to go to... Ivan at the Esther Hotel. Ah, oh, how did he know? Tis indeed for that kooky old bloke. Ye deliver to this to him and you'll be done for the day. Just leave it to us. A sleigh. Uh, but you know... Well, first of all, I'm going to pull one pix ball for fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, since we've actually made a difference in the day, finally. What do we get? A rat. Perfect for me, a rat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna actually leave this episode here, so, um... You know, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd really like. And in the next episode, we're actually gonna... Uh, you know, get on with life in Esther City, I guess. So see you then.